The widest lens I've ever tried was the 12 mil. I think it was a Tony 5.6 on Panasonic and the corners were pretty warpy. It was unusable, but it was fun, wasn't it? Admit it. For Sony, in my opinion, the best wide angle is the Zeiss Batis 18 mil Tony 2.8. It's wide, but it's not goofy wide. That's where Lawa comes in to save the day. 10 mil, 2.8 autofocusing lens. Oh, fun could be had. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So today we're going to review this Lowell lens. Hopefully I can get something really cool slow motion, like in a flock of pigeons or something so wide. I got to really test this lens out. Let's first switch to the Zeiss Batis 18mm so you can see what a normal ultra wide looks like compared to this 55mm. Utterly too much dignity here. It's like a clown trying to put on a suit or something. It's a joke. 55, let's go. Wow, that is so dramatically wider. I can hardly fathom what just happened. So this is just the 18 mil. Wait till we bring it on eight to 10. What the hell is gonna happen? So when it comes to build quality, this has got to be the most unique lens I've ever seen or felt. It's all metal, but the focus ring is also metal and it's just got little grooves in it, little tiny little grooves. Can you see those grooves? And on the side, you see there's like indentations. Not sure if I'm a fan of that or not. It works. It's interesting. You can feel it in the dark. It is nice to know that, especially if you have gloves on or something. It's like, oh yeah, that's the part. Decent. It's got a little autofocus, manual focus switch. It takes 77 mil filters. Not bad. No like super bulbous element. And a lens hood, is that detachable? Yes, it is. Does it ever click back on? I'm not feeling a click. That's awkward. That is so weird. Oh, you better click. It just does not click. That is so unsatisfying. It weighs 421 grams without the front cap or the rear. So that's what it would feel like when you vlog with it, which is what this was likely designed for. Let's switch over to it. I'm almost afraid what's going to happen. This is 18 mil, that's super goofy wide. 10 mil, really? I'm still centered in the bookshelf. Oh man, wow. That is freaking unbelieve. Oh, the finger stretch. Oh, and buy my yoga book. Buy it, you buy it. You want it. You can see my entire apartment. Like, my, you can't hide anything here. Holy cow. That is the widest thing on earth. I'm touching the lens. You could vlog with it right in there. Right in there. I mean, this looks like a 15 mil, but it's here. I'm touching the lens hood. Wow. It continues to focus on you. How close does it do it? My nose is gonna touch the, oh my God. Can my nose touch the lens hood and it still focuses on my eye? It's still doing it. It's on my eye. How close will it go? It's eye tracking me. I'm gonna touch the, oh, it stopped. That's flattering. Are you trying to tell me that that Zeiss loser looks better than me? Than me? Come on, I've dated girls, a couple of them. I gave them a nice friendly handshake. Come on, Zeiss, that guy, you would pick him over me. Don't swipe right or left. Ah, this is goofy fun. That's ridiculous. Lawa has a special place in my heart because for the longest time, they had the best ultra wide for micro four thirds, the 7.5 mil Tony two, super light vlogging. You could do stuff, manual focus. Now we're actually auto-focusing. Is everything in focus? Just cause it's 10 mil? Okay, I wanna see, I can't believe the macro capabilities on this thing. Let's go do a vlog test and see if I can get some magical slow motion. Dare we dream it.
That is ridiculous, Lawa. Oh, man. That is so freaking... Is it stable with no... We have no active stab on right now. How was the slow-mo? Was that stable? Oh, it better be. I want to see no warpy stuff. Lawa, Sony's the best at that because their IBIS barely does anything. So it's not, it doesn't have the energy to wave at you. All right, let's put active stab on. Gimbal? Uh, that's what we're witnessing right now. If that's stable, you have the funniest, you could tuck it right in there. It still looks like a 15 mil lens, even right there. You're walking, you're talking. Everywhere you go is an architectural moment to just capture everything in your neighborhood for miles. The only problem is if you want to show something like, oh, that's about to be a red light. It's going to look like it's 300 light years away, but whatever. I do like the shot. It's fun to be that. Whoa, he was, he's already that far. Oh, you're fast, old man. You are fast. How's the corner sharpness? Does it detect you? Am I still in a corner? Does it warp a lot? Right here is probably fine. I'm dateable. Uh-oh, maybe not. Okay, I do have lumps. I have a couple lumps on my head, but I'm good for it. Come on, I'm trustworthy. It's a little stretchy, but it's not a fisheye. It's just like everything's straight. Like you see those poles, they're not bending. It's a feat of ingenuity. Lawa pushes the game. They really love ultra wide and I'm on board. Now, one thing you might not love Sony grip space in between, like, my fingers were touching the side. If you have any extra padding, like you, you have a little extra dinner roll at night a couple times a week, good luck sliding your fingers through that one, but it's a little fat. It's Sony's fault, but it's kind of heavy. It's light for what it is, but I'm tired. The fact that you could, in theory, just hold it right here and you're still like pretty wide, then you're not tired at all. Maybe back off me a bit, hobo. Not bad, okay, let's go try to get some magical slow motion somehow. I, I've envisioned a flock of seagulls, or pigeons, and I'm in the flock, and somehow we nail something. Come on. In this shot I stood at the bottom of a long stairwell symbolizing the journey through life. 
What's gonna happen to me? Will I get attacked by a bear? Nobody knows. Here we are in the middle of the stairwell symbolizing our midlife crisis. Will he buy a Lamborghini or a new camera? This is the photo I look at when I want to feel taller because I'm short and women when they look directly ahead of themselves I'm underneath their line of sight and I can't be dated. Here we are at the end of life and we have completed the journey. There's yellow in the shot juxtapositioned against green and the metal adds an element of scarcity and industrial apocalyptic warfare. In this shot I forgot to stop down the toniature to get an even blurrier background so it has zero point, there's zero reason for this but there's a slimy sumac thing that a robin will have to eat later and the vignette's pretty strong now I notice it. In this shot I slowed the shutter speed down so the car would be blurry. It's never been done before and I also got the entire building in this shot and there could have been three or four buildings next to it and they all would have been in because it's 10 mil and there's a vignette in the top left corner and it hurts me, it's blue. Why is it blue? I saw this truck where females instead of making their husbands bacon and egg sandwiches and taking care of the seven babies that they gave birth to, they go out and use wrenches to fix pipes and bench related disasters. Women can do anything. In this architectural example of stopping down your toniature, we got 2.8 on the left, Tony 8 in the middle, and Tony 11 to show you what diffraction is. They all look the same to me, but some of them vignette harder than others and I don't know why. I then found the most ironic moment in the history of mankind where a warning sign said you're being watched and there was a man running away from being watched. It could have been a woman. It could have been one of the fix-it females. She stole the wrench from the house. So I've had a chance to review all the footage. It does appear to vignette pretty hard. I guess I didn't notice it in the video because it's chopped a little bit. But it's in there somewhere. Are you seeing it? I saw lots of it in the photos. I was in manual focus. That's a bitch. Oh boy, we're just moving on along there. Okay, so we're on it. Interesting lens. It's it's one of these lenses that you can capture so much uniqueness in any scene. Like just that one building, it was so close to me. I was like, it looks so small. Like I would have had to cross the street, get right up to it, and the whole thing would have fit. So like if you're an architectural vlogger and you like going to places and seeing these tourist destinations, one little selfie and the whole thing's in. 10 mil is actually pretty usable. I used it for a little workout session this morning and I was like, wow, it's actually capturing that whole shot. Whereas I've never been able to do that. Usually it's just like a bit of my head and the chest. It's like, wow, the whole thing, huh? It's a little distorted. So it does kind of make your face appear less attractive, but it doesn't mean you couldn't please one of the fix it females. Like, get real with yourself it's the confidence that really matters sorry all my shots are on the 12 megapixel a7s3 but that's all i have in the sony universe so i don't know it seems like a decent lens it does vignette the autofocus seems pretty reliable there was the odd bit of hunting and an odd bit of like breathing it's not the best vlogging lens it's just so unstable i thought it was going to be super stable for whatever reason that there is warpy corners, there's all... That's not easy to stabilize a 10 mil. My God, I just realized I had the IBIS set to 18 mil, because I'm a moron. So now we're at 10 mil, no active stabe. I bet you that's more stable, is it? What if I picked it up a notch? And then we put active on. And now you have the ultimate vlogging lens, perhaps? Oh, I'm a moron. How did I miss that? It was staring right at me the whole time. So now we're set to 10 mil, and then my next vlog is gonna be 18 mil set to 10 mil like a moron. It's a good lens. I'm telling you, architectural vlogging, it's the new thing. You just go to a building and you show it, and then you move to the next building. Or thing, it doesn't even have to be a building. It could be a pole. The options are endless. Huh? I added more lights to the scene. I should have just started with that. Oh man, I did get a blackout curtain. So for once in our lives, we're going to have normal lighting that is just the light. 
except for those clear and obvious leaks that I have not been able to solve yet. But decent lens could be better probably in the vignette area, but I like a stylized vignette, not the hard corners that clearly chop off. I can't even reach the corner. Wow, that is, that's a wide lens, this corner. If your finger is not that long, are you even like human? I doubt it. I'll leave. It's available down below through my affiliate links, of course. Thank you, Lao. They sent it to me. Should I have disclosed that? I'm allowed to keep it. I said, just let me keep it or like, no. And he agreed. Thank you. It's good. Subscribe for more videos. See you next time.